Hello everybody, Dr. Yu here with the next video from the Calgary Guide video series, COPD Acute Exacerbations, Triggers and Signs and Symptoms. This video is one of many COPD related videos in the Calgary Guide video series. If you're interested, you can check out these other videos as well. But for now, please help us reach more viewers by liking the video just as it's starting out and by subscribing to my channel. With that, let's get started. COPD Acute Exacerbations can be caused by three main factors. Acute bacterial infection, acute viral infection, and air pollution, such as cigarette smoke. Acute bacterial infection activates pro-inflammatory cytokines and recruits neutrophils to the area of infection. Acute viral infections cause epithelial cells to secrete cytokines and increase airway lymphocythemia, which means a greater number of lymphocytes recruited to the area of infection in the airways. Finally, air pollution, such as cigarette smoke, will increase reactive oxygen species in the lungs. The combination of pro-inflammatory cytokines, neutrophils, lymphocytes, and free radicals, like reactive oxygen species, will result in an acute increase in the amount of inflammation in the airways. This acute increase in inflammation will further release harmful mediators, such as more reactive oxygen species and proteases, into the lung tissue and airways. This results in a variety of pathophysiological mechanisms that lead to the signs and symptoms of COPD acute exacerbations. First, airway inflammation results in the increase in secretions that accumulate in the airway lumen. This irritates the cough reflexes in the airways, triggering cough. This also results in increased sputum production and sputum purulence. Increased secretions also work alongside the edema of the airway wall, as well as airway bronchoconstriction in response to inflammation, to limit the outflow of air from the lungs on expiration. But because blood flow to the lungs continue to perfuse the lungs, they are now perfusing underventilated regions, resulting in a VQ mismatch, a ventilation perfusion mismatch. In severe instances, this could lead to acute respiratory failure. But often, this simply results in the patient having to breathe harder and faster in order to attempt to restore normal arterial levels of oxygen and carbon dioxide. A limited outflow of air from the lungs on expiration also results in unexpired air being trapped in the lungs, resulting in hyperinflation, further contributing to increased respiratory rate, increased sensation of shortness of breath, and increased accessory muscle use in an attempt to restore normal arterial CO2 and O2 levels. Hyperinflation of the lungs result in more blood remaining in the lungs, reducing the preload delivered to the left side of the heart. This results in increased cardiac consequences, especially in patients predisposed to heart disease. Another component of the pathophysiological consequence of acute increases in airway inflammation is that the inflammation will cause airway bronchoconstriction. This not only further limits the outflow of air from the lungs on expiration, but the constricted airways will also create audible turbulent airflow on expiration, heard by a physician through a stethoscope as a wheeze. And these exacerbations of COPD will oftentimes result in the patient's underlying wheeze being more audible than before. Finally, the systemic spread of inflammatory markers via the bloodstream cause inflammation throughout the body, worsening cardiac consequences, worsening respiratory symptoms, and leading to increased CRP, C-reactive protein, a measure of inflammation in the body. Note that the triggers for acute exacerbations of COPD are unknown in approximately a third of cases, and we do not use changes in pulmonary function to diagnose patients with exacerbations of COPD. That's all for an explanation of the acute exacerbations of COPD. For more on COPD, you can check out the other videos in the Calgary Guide video series. Again, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.